All righty, welcome to episode 37 of the Consistent Genius Podcast. I'm here with Matthew Vick. What's up? I'm back, guys. <laughs> and CJ Rothman. What's up? What's up, boys? How you doing? It's early Monday morning as we're recording. Facts. Way too early. Today. I was surprised I woke up. <laughs> and uh, we're here, though. And Vic is back with some amazing stories. Yeah. CJ oh, yeah. back with his amazing knowledge. Yeah, I'm a pretty knowledgeable guy, I guess. Pretty I wise. just got all the stories. I might not have all the facts, but... I, I love stories. Vic's stories. <laughs> I love them. All right, so you said you got one. Let's hear it. You almost got fired or something. Yeah, this is this is a very interesting story. Because, Wait, is this um, the one that involves a woman? Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah. That's what I like Every to hear. story so, involves a woman with <laughs> Vic, man. Yeah. Oh, I'll give you another one later. Though. Vic, how, how are the doesn't... females treating you right now? I mean, I'm just kind of chilling right now, so... <laughs> All right. He's chilling. He's All chilling. Right. There's one out there. Yeah, there's probably one out there. Oh, yeah. but Maybe two. You never know. This <laughs> guy. <laughs> so, basically, we had this, like, so I work as an umpire for DYA. So, basically, it was getting to be playoff time. This was, like, maybe would have been a week ago. And, basically, our boss, who's, who, at this point, for reference, is probably in his, like, late 50s, maybe early 60s. Um, is this the guy who runs all DYA? No. Okay. He just runs the umpires for baseball. Uh, so he's a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you always gets pissed like when people don't pick up games because it's like you basically create your own schedule for yeah. this job that I have, and then he has to go work them, and he gets super pissed like when people don't do that. Yeah. So basically, we he made a group chat with like, and he's not very technologically advanced with like with all him and then all 17 of the playoff umpires and of course i'm the most senior guy there so i have like six playoff games which is yeah. which is a lot that's a lot yeah that's is a it lot. one weekend or one week okay and um i basically did like every round in this one league the highest one so basically Coach just probably hated you <laughs> basically what happens is there's there's a bunch of lightning one night it was like a tuesday tuesday night it was like a or a wednesday night it was like second round games basically and basically one of my one of my friends i'm going to name drop here uh, josh ajanowski he goes to jerome um basically me and him are are good friends and um we we umpire a lot together and basically we were the two most senior senior umpires and we were both available to work one game so basically our boss texts both of us and says like okay who wants this 11 u plate game for like 20 minutes and you get like a full pay and so, why are you there for twenty minutes? Because the lightning came and they had to oh, suspend oh, the game. Oh, oh. Never mind. So and you only play for twenty minutes? Yeah, they had to finish the game. But oh, the okay. umpire, the way DYA does it is, the umpire gets full pay for the game regardless of how long it is. Okay. So he ends up taking it because I'm like, eh, I don't really want to do an eleven U game like the the level of playing DYA. What's eleven like, U? Like uh, eleven year olds. Eleven year olds oh. and under. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like I do the four, uh, I do the fourteen U and the eighteen U. I don't okay. want to go do an eleven U. No game. way, you you do eighteen U. Yeah, I do eighteen U. Okay, that's nuts. That's actually like that's I when you get into like, the league. That's yeah. when you get into like real umpiring. Like like yeah. you better call a good game, or like you might get you might get swung at in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got another story about that later. <laughs> no, I wasn't getting swung at in the parking lot, but I would want to tell people like the funniest things I've had parents say to me. Oh. Just because some of them are, are so funny. But back to this story. So Josh ends up taking the 11U game because I didn't want it. And he basically made Josh do it. And Josh then decided to text in our playoff group chat, like, his whole game, like, oh, man, this sucks. Like, I can't believe I actually took, like, this for 45 minutes and stuff like that. And all of a sudden, this other umpire was, like, text, like, oh, are you okay? Like, blah, 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 blah. And come to find out later, it was, it was one of the girl umpires. Ooh. And so – then the chat kind of got real at that point with, with literally just like a – so I had a game with Josh then afterwards that was 18U, but it wasn't a tournament game. So the whole game, me and him were just sending like text in that group chat just to like basically get people all fired up and stuff like that. And this one girl – just keep the same one that was asking Josh, like, are you okay? Just keeps like saying stuff and is like, Oh, does anyone here want to date like a sixteen you like sixteen year old uh softball player, like like whatever and I guess she said she's like on Tinder too. Like this thing this thing is like messed up. So it ends up taking that direction and then to be funny, I I uh I uh, renamed the group chat Tinder for umpires. <laughs> and basically it just got it just got real after that. And 
is the coach or not the coach, the head guy in the group chat. Yeah, he's in the group chat. And he saw that? He saw yeah, that. He's seeing that everything. Yeah, he's a, he's a savage like, like, like that. He don't care. <laughs> yeah. Well, then actually Josh went and named it, changed the name. So I changed it to Tinder for umpires. And then he changed it for to Tinder for umpires parentheses girl's name. And, and this just set like the whole thing off. And our, our boss is just sitting in there like, hey, let's keep it PG. There's 13 year olds in this group chat. Like whatever. Like yeah. with me being, I think I was the only one in there that was besides him that was 18 or above. And those two were like kind of like low key, like flirting with each other, like in the, in the group chat with 18 Ooh. people in it. And this is, this is a work group chat too. So yeah. like, this is getting serious. So then, um, and I guess the, the girl too was the baseball director. So the guy that's in charge of all of the baseball and DYA's daughter. Oh, so this, this is what makes this even worse. So, and, and so after that game that night, like we were sending like random texts, like I said, just like do whatever. And like someone was talking about like setting somebody up with someone else. And then Josh text age is just a number. Because, like, the age difference was, like, you, like, yeah, this Yeah, until you catch a case. Yeah, yeah. seriously. They're, like, 15-year-olds on a Tinder, you yeah. know. They're Freaks. trying to get the well, FBI this, to get yeah, on me or something. Well, <laughs> this, this 16-year-old is on Twitter. Uh, the 16-year-old girl umpire is on Tinder. Yeah, it's She criminal. said that, like, like I'm just sitting here, like. Hey, 16 is okay, though. Yeah, when, when you're on. <laughs> when, when, yeah, when you're on. When you're on. When you're 16 on Tinder, like, how yeah. does that go? Yeah, that's not good. They'll ban so your account. So, basically. Me and Josh then decided, I think it was, it would have been the next night to, or no, I saw my boss the next day because he, he has to come and pay us for the pe- playoff games. And I was doing one, but, but Josh had like a baseball game or something. So he wasn't working then. And I asked him about like what he thought of the group chat and stuff. And he, he goes, he goes, man, Josh is really missing out. Like she's a really cute girl. Like if my son was younger, I'd want, I want him to be with her. So I texted him like what he said, like Josh, what he said. And well, Vic, is she cute? Yeah, that's the number one question here. Like, like, what, 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 are, what are we working with here? <laughs> yeah. I didn't, I didn't think she was that cute. Okay, but I could see why, oh, like, respect. like other people would think that. Okay. I, I think it's just <laughs> not my type. Like, I'll show you her, her stuff after. Okay. So, basically, keep in mind that this is like our boss's boss daughter. Yeah. So. Me and Josh, after our last game, like we did one of the the fourteen new championship game, decided you did it together. Yeah. So like, who was out two in the umpires. field? I was in the I was in the field. He was behind the plate. Okay. And we decided it would be a funny idea for him to send the text that I sent him in the group chat, like. So basically, oh. it was what our boss said. Oh, like, dude, we that's just, messed up. Yeah, we just decided <laughs> like out of the move. middle of nowhere, like it would be a funny idea. Yeah. Okay. And so we decided to have like the foolproof like excuses because we didn't figure it was going to go over well, but we wanted to entertain some of the other umpires. Figuring yeah. if we got if we got fired at that entertainment po- values. Yeah, high. figuring if like if we got fired at that point, like who cares? Who cares? Like he had no games left, and I only had five left. <laughs> only five games left. But when you work like forty in a year, like five's a very okay, yeah. very small portion. So. And it was like softball that nobody – this 18U softball that nobody cares about. That could be fun. No, that could be fun. Like, there's <laughs> yeah. some, you know, like, like legitimately, there's some there's some freaking BA girls that play softball. Yeah. You know have have I mean? you seen that video of the uh, Oregon softball team dancing on Mm-mm. Twitter? I have. Uh-huh. That's nice. It's yeah, nice. Vic's seen it. Vic's seen it. <laughs> yeah. Good Anyways. Video. For so, science, you should look it up later. So we had, like, a foolproof, like, excuses to go. Like, we were just going to say, like, something like – because cause he, he's, like, he's one of the funniest guys we've ever met with, like, some of the stuff he says. So, like, he kind of doesn't really have a filter. Yeah. So, like, like so, him saying, like – Or yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> or CJ. So him yeah, saying yeah, something like this is kind of it's kind of predictable, if I would say. So it was Saturday night, and it was, like, at, like, midnight – and Josh sends the text that I sent him about like what he said, and ten seconds later, our boss texts back and goes, "That doesn't need to be posted." <laughs> <laughs> and he got like all pissed, and he was like trying to remove it from the group chat, but it's like you can't; it's already been sent. Yeah. And he was like really pissed at Josh because he was the one that would send it. Yeah, I was just kind of like he should be pissed. Yeah, so. even though I was the one that texted it to him, so I thought I was gonna have something like coming back on me for that, and. Literally, while he was gonna, 
while Josh was trying to come up with some excuse of like why that why he did that, she texts back like, "Oh, thanks. That was so nice of you to say that." And it's like, "Oh, Dang. you got yourself in a sticky situation, brother." I just thought that story was funny. It was good. Yeah, I thought I was gonna get fired at, at one point. Did Josh get fired? No, but uh, he has another year to work there, though. Oh. Uh, so that reminded me of a story recently. Do you guys remember the teacher was like, yeah. I don't know if it was sleeping with a student at or Kaufman. like sending, yeah, sending pics to a yeah, student, yeah, yeah. whatever. Do you, do you know the teacher? Yeah. Well, like I never had him, but like I was seeing him in passing and like oh, we I had, had each the, other. Did you say him? Yeah. Oh, I was talking about her. Oh. The other teacher? Wait. Yeah. Was this like a few years ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, a few years that ago? That was with another one. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, another Yeah, that was case. a girl teacher, so the kid was a dog. Like, yeah, yeah. Savage. <laughs> yeah, kid's but, like, a dog. That's, nah, that's, this, that's big time this was like an old dude and a young girl, and the young girl was apparently the daughter of a teacher. This is about coffee? Yeah, I had the, yeah. I had the teacher, teacher. I had the teacher's daughter, like the teacher that had the te- that had the daughter that was involved. Yeah. And I thought so she the was woman a horrible teacher, teacher. Yeah, I thought the woman teacher had the bad. daughter, yeah. and then the teacher, yeah. Wow. I, well, I saw the dude in a bar one day. This is before it all happened. No. So I was like, oh, he's a cool dude. And whenever we saw each other, like, you know, we would be like, what up? Or like talk or whatever. So I always thought he was a nice guy. And I'm sure he is a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he must be. <laughs> he got a job as a teacher. but Yeah. So I asked like, I asked uh, like Ogilvy Turner. I asked, I went and asked like a bunch of teachers about it. I'm like, so can you tell me something? And they're like, depends what it is. And then I like start, you know, explaining. And they're like, oh yeah, we can't talk about that. <laughs> Like, oh, <laughs> well, thanks for clarifying that it's a yeah. thing. <laughs> no, I can't talk about that. That's, that's disclosed information. Yeah, yeah but that, that's messed up. So recently, the women's USA soccer what, team, soccer team yep. won. Yep. Woohoo. Yep. Alex Morgan. What a dog. Alex Morgan saw the video on Twitter. I don't Twitter. even follow soccer, but yeah, I have social media. So yeah, I one of my it. boys sent a video. I'm like, damn, soccer girls can get it. Facts. And um, what was it? Oh, football season is coming up. Yeah, that's gonna be exciting. You know, we have a fun game where we uh we get a cup at a bar, like we'll go to a bar, you know, eat whatever. But you get a cup. Everyone puts in five dollars, and then every play you move the cup. Right? If they score a touchdown on that, whoever has the cup at that time takes the money, and then everyone fills it up. It's an interesting game. It's a fun ass game. I'm a big hey. fantasy guy. Fantasy football. Uh, uh, yeah. All five years I've played, I've been in my league's championship game, and I got three rings. So oh, shit. I'm like, I'm like a powerhouse in Vic, this. you should get actual rings made. <laughs> Vic actually no, is I like thought that would be most... like like a like a funny punishment for like losers to have where they got to buy the – like the losers all have to chip in to buy the winner yeah, a ring. Yeah, that is I thought that, that would weird. actually be like an interesting – like if you want to call it like a – because like some people take it to an extreme like, oh, last place guys got to get some tattoo or something like yeah, that. I still think that's up. pretty good because you get financially hit because you suck at, at football basically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, Step Brothers, what's his face says, I'm a team manager. Uh Fantasy football or something Dude, like that. Manager. All right, guys. I got a confession to make. I've never seen Step Brothers. No way. I haven't seen it either. Dude, I, I've never what? seen it. Both of Front you? to back, yeah. It's oh. so good. You got to yeah. watch it. Front to front. Front to back. <laughs> front to front. It's great. Like, every time I watch it, there's something new I notice. Really? Yeah. That's, a, that's with every movie. I've watched... Infinity War. I'm a big Marvel guy. I've yeah. watched Infinity War. Did you War, watch like, the new one with, like, the DLC times. content? What? Like the Wait, new, oh, I don't watch game game about I don't game watch game. Marvel. Oh, you're about Did you hear yeah, about no. that? So the movie was no. already three hours long. They added no. a di- like maybe like one more scene to it, really? and then they re put it out in theaters. Really? So like you know how people always complain about DLC in games, like uh-huh. you have to pay for the maps. It's yeah, kind of like yeah. that. Like you had to pay more for the movie. Really? It kind of stupid. I'm I mean, they made about. so much money off oh, that game. Oh, they did. Like it like tripled like Avatar. You remember that movie, Avatar? Yeah. Yeah. I don't see the hype around it. I don't. I don't. What Endgame? Yeah, I don't follow. I thought it was pretty dope. What they did was amazing, and I wish they did it with Star Wars and Star Trek. Mm. Personally, Mm. I don't know if you guys are into that, but like Star Trek, it has like ten TV, not ten. It's like six TV shows with like few season each, Mm -hmm. few seasons. Yeah, and like I've watched a lot of that, and I love it. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it on TV. I'll scroll by it once or twice, but I mean, I never really watch it. I'm not. I'm not really a big like. Movie or like TV show guy. I'm a huge I just, movie guy. Vic likes just, the books. No, I go on like YouTube if I'm bored and watch like random sports highlights to go watch like a sport game. Basically, I'll tell you the f- my favorite thing to watch on YouTube: comedy sketches. Dave yes. Chappelle. Yeah, and um, 
it, wait, it's on like Comedy Central's YouTube, right? Like yeah. they have like those stand up comedies. Yeah, I was just watching. Yeah, them those are night. pretty funny. Yeah, they're great. Always good for a good laugh. There are a couple like because they're real. At, yeah, yeah, like they're real. Like they're true stories. It's just like the heck this guy was telling me. Or not me, but like he was standing on stage. He's like, yeah, I went to prison and. He had to buy a, he had to buy a knife in prison. He had to like keister that. Like it was, yeah. it was so funny. What do you call it? The prison pocket. Yeah, the prison <laughs> wallet. A <laughs> prison wallet. <laughs> That's so funny. Let's be real here though. No one would last a minute in prison. No. It's a whole different world, no, bro. No, nobody from Dublin could last in prison. Okay. Maybe. Maybe that's true. But like most people I don't know. I know I'd be curious now though. Like I, I mean, I'm not volunteering, so. I uh, I listen to this guy named uh, Joey Diaz. You guys might have seen him before. He's heard a comic and he has a podcast. Name. And uh, he was talking about back in the day. He was in, like, Colorado. So their prison was, like, a resort because no one lived in Colorado. It would be, like a, like, a vacation place. So, like, not much crime would go down. It was mm-hmm. a pretty safe area. So when he was in prison, they would let him, like, leave and go to the Chinese store across the street and come back. Dang. And, like, you can leave for so long, come back. They had Special a TV privileges. in the room. Like, Dang. yeah, it was, like, real nice. He said it's probably changed by now, but, like, when he was there, it was, like, a hotel resort type thing. Wow. Damn. Maybe but, I like, if you think prison. about it, though, like, the the big county prisons, those things are, like, mess, like, Franklin County, because you get, like, all those people from Columbus that are, like, shooting each other on the east side, basically. Yeah. Well, like, those have prisons Cl- Columbus are, prison? No, there's, it, the prisons aren't by a city. They're by a county. Uh, yeah, they're, like, way out there. So, like, if you would go up to, like, Powell and, and like, do something up there, like, the jail's going to be a little nicer than down here. Mm-hmm. But it's still, like, not going to be nice. Interesting. Well, jail and prison are different, though. Yeah. Because yeah. I know a guy who went to jail for, like little bit. Like, you go to jail for, like, three days. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, but I'm like talking about... Like that, yeah. trial. I'm talking yeah. about if you committed, like, a felony or, yeah. or something like that. Like, that's not going to be nice here at Do all. Do you now. think felons should be able to vote? Yeah. 100%. No. Well, I, not I mean, while not? they're in prison, but after they've served their time, yes, they should be able to vote. Okay. Okay. Do you think they should be able to own a that's, gun? That's what I thought, like... I mean, that's what I was like. Because basically, it's like, yeah, yeah, if yeah, you're you can't already in prison, prison, you can't yeah. vote in prison. <laughs> like, 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 if you served your time already, like, that was your punishment was serving the time. Do you think they should be able to own guns? Well, I don't know. I mean, that's... I mean, that's... that. I want to say yes, like, after they get out, but that's I feel like, like there's... I, I'd like to see... I'd like to see can, some of the... they can't, it's like... Yeah. It's just not fair. I mean, I'd like, like to see some of the research on that. I don't know. I want to say yes after they get out, but I want to see some of the research. Yeah. I, th- I think it should been, depend on the crime because there are people that, like, you know, like like a Wall Street banker gets put away for investing. Oh, ab- absolutely you know? they should be able to do that. But I'm saying, like, I feel like you couldn't just make it for one felony. You'd have to make it for the whole yeah. thing. You can't just be picking this crime and this crime. But because at the same time, I feel like absolutely that Wall Street banker or whatever that gets arrested or someone gets arrested for insider trading or something like that should absolutely be able to do that. But if you got someone that's got like a double homicide or something like that, like yeah, then it's pretty any, messed up. Yeah, yeah. probably not. Probably yeah, not. Probably let not. Him have a gun. <laughs> yeah, nah. It, it's wild though. Like Chicago has like the strictest gun laws, but has like the most deaths from gun a year. Yeah. They have the the strictest. Yeah. Really? Like you like if we wanted to go to Chicago, like if we lived Chirag. in Chicago, that's and we wanted to get a gun, it's hard. Like my cousins used to live there. They used to have an outright ban, and then that got overturned by the Supreme Court, where you couldn't yeah. take a gun at all in city limits. Yeah. So my cousins lived there, and like, they, like, my whole family is kind of like gun people, but mm-hmm. like they they always talked about it, but they were like, yeah, we just can't because you're not allowed to. Damn. Yeah, that's unfortunate. My dad's side of the family's like that, but I mean, from WVU, so like, yeah. I mean, do you know what goes on out there? Yeah. I mean, it's just a bunch of like it's Hicksville, like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I uh, we called the shooting range yesterday and asked how old you have to be to shoot a handgun if you want to rent it there, and it's still twenty one because you can't own a handgun if you're under twenty one. Didn't know Even that. Even in Ohio. Yeah, yeah. I did not know that. So I thought we got to wait three more years, then we can go to that range. But yeah. we can shoot rifles there and rent them. Yeah. I thought I thought it was pretty much eighteen unless you were in like a deep blue state. I know. I wish it was. What does that mean? Deep like blue state. Democratic. Very, very oh. liberal, very oh. democratic. Democrat, yeah. And then, oh, okay. like, deep red or, like, ruby red means, like, really Republican. Uh, okay. Purple purple would be, like, Ohio swing state. Wow. Yeah. What gotcha. are they, nine swing states now? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So, <laughs> recently, the World Series of Poker has been going on. Don't know how to play. 
I, I'd like played. to learn how to play. I don't know how to play either. Same. I would like to I, learn how to play. I would tell you both. There's a guy named uh, Daniel Negreanu. He does poker vlogs, and he's at the World Series Poker. So he'll do one for each day. It's like 40-some days, and you can, like, Holy watch shit, him. He'll, days. like, give you commentary and stuff. Yeah, it's a long thing. It's out in Vegas. But, like, he's a sweet, like, entertaining guy. And then, like, if you actually wanted to learn how to play, like, there's so many videos you can watch and just learn. Watch the pros uh, mm-hmm. play. That helps. I feel like it's, like, a hard game to learn. Oh, I don't know. Like there's so many rules. The there's fundamentals, so many rules. once you get them down, they're good. Because, like, it's not really playing the cards. It's more playing your players. Yeah, like, you know, like, the bluffing stuff and, like, yeah. acting like yeah, you got something. Like, yeah. that's, like, all I know about poker. But, like, the rules inside yeah, the I'm, game, nah. I'm trying play. to play, like, poker on my phone, and I'm still confused by the whole thing. So. <laughs> I mean, that's not real poker. Yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, unless you, like, pay for an app. <laughs> Depends what it is. Yeah. If it's like one of those free games, no, it's not. Probably not. Yeah, yeah. people do play different with like fake money, though. Yeah. That's for sure. You'll see things that don't yeah. happen. But yeah, obviously, was, but I was just trying to learn the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a great way to learn. Yeah. I'm a big Euchre guy, though. Yeah. yeah. I've never... Uh, I've heard that name a lot. We might have tried playing it once before. Do you keep points on a paper and like add them up? Like on the cards? Like yeah. you flip the card over, basically, for okay, like points? Not. Yeah. But it's a uh, – that game can get really confusing too. But basically, like, once you learn, like, what beats what, like, what cards you have to play in certain situations, it's, like, just really easy. And basically, we played in Rock Shop. Me, Pawna, Hunter, and Ms. Williams played, uh, played yeah. like, every day. And uh, I was playing with Pawna one day, and we probably pulled the biggest choke in uh, Euchre history. <laughs> so – this is this is a really funny story here. Um, so basically, me and Pana were up eight to one, and first one in ten in Euchre wins. And basically, what what happens is is that when the other team calls what the trump card is, which is basically would be like best card in the, in the for, game for that hand. Oh. And so Hunter calls Trump, so we would get two points then instead of one if we win the hand because basically if you call Trump, it's easier, usually easier for you to win. And basically it's like best of five in the hand, and I took the first two tricks, so we were up two to nothing. So all we had to do was win one more to win the game. And basically Jack of Trump, like the Trump suit, is the best card in the game. It beats everything. And and another term you need to know for this is is a renege is when you play a card when you're not supposed <laughs> wait, to play wait, wait. it. <laughs> Say that again. What so, is it called? Renege. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't invent the term. That's just what it's called. <laughs> but uh, I so basically, it's a bold term. Yeah, I know it was a bold <laughs> term. But this game, this game was probably invented years ago, though. It's not invented in oh. today, obviously. <laughs> Like for today, sure. it's sketchy for back then. Hey, it listen, wasn't. Vic's going to the deep south for school, <laughs> yeah. <all> right? <laughs> yeah, he is going that southern Alabama boy. Yeah, yeah baby. So basically, Pana has Jack of Trump, so it beats anything. So basically, we've won the hand as long as he like plays the card at the correct time. And basically, if someone leads with a with a certain suit, so like say I started off the trick and I put down a heart, everybody else, if you have a heart, has to play it, and so I, I led with a heart, and Ben then just plays his Jack of Trump, which wasn't hearts, just to try to, like, get the game over with. And he's got a heart in his hand, so he basically renegs with it, and the other team gets a point. So it goes to 8-2 to two then, and we gave up, like, eight straight points and lost, like, 10-8 to, 10 to eight then. Damn. When all he had to do was play the card at the right time, and we would have won. Scrub. Wow. Rookie mistake. <laughs> yeah, that math. was a rookie mistake right there. Yeah, math. <laughs> No, math, but oh. math, too. I think you said math, because isn't there math involved in Euchre, if I'm not mistaken? It's just, like, whatever number is higher, like, 10 is higher than 9. Oh, okay. That's some pretty cl- complex shit yeah, right like, there. Yeah, like, then all you have to do toes? was, was uh, <laughs> add 4, add 2, or add 1 to the score, like... Never mind. Did Never you mind. guys hear that the lowest paid guy on an NBA team is paid more than a whole WNBA team combined. Yeah. Yeah. I did hear about that. I saw on Twitter. The highest That's WNBA player. Yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, okay. The <laughs> highest paid the highest paid WNBA players making like 300,000. <laughs> like NBA minimum salary is like just over a million. Yeah. Damn. That's, yeah. That's 
Kinda. WNBA, I love watching the videos where like it'll be like a girl like wide open going for a layup, <sighs> boom misses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or so, I just like watching the the dunk fails. Yeah. I mean, the only reason like woman NBA players don't get paid as much is because it's not as popular of a sport. Yeah, they so they the yeah, yeah, I mean like they don't have the, the fan base. As, you like, see, that was the same thing with the women's soccer team that was complaining about that. Yeah, where it was like the men's World Cup generated like. Billions, probably like five billion dollars, yeah. and the women's World Cup generated seventy-three million, and they were complaining that they don't get paid the same. Well, I mean, if no the viewership was there, much. I'm sure their championship game did okay. But yeah, but as in like the tournament. Oh as a whole. yeah, yeah. That so the thing about like all that. Well, first, like I just kind of like you almost like feel bad for the girls, but just like I'm sorry, like people just don't. Watch I don't feel games. bad. That's equality, man. Yeah. I mean, I mean, not equality. Like, of there's like skill nothing they can. They like, there's yeah, just there's like, they could do like, about no, it. That's they what I'm saying. Better. Is there's like, there's like almost nothing they can do about it, just because of like biological standards. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you almost feel bad for them because just like, yeah, you're gonna continue to play basketball sports and nobody's gonna watch, basically. Well, I think if they like had a dynasty or had fans, like it'd be different. Yeah. But, like, I'm I'm not so sure what you said by biological standpoint. <laughs> He's <laughs> saying girls time. are inferior to boys. Hmm. I not, disagree. Not necessarily. I disagree. I mean, like, like in some cases, but like, there's also like, like some if cases you take like, like, if you take like Ronda sh- Rousey, bro, you want to talk about like, like if you yeah, take like superior she, women, yeah. bro, yeah, like UFC, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying there's, there's no exceptions. Like, there are exceptions to that rule, but I'm saying like, you take the best female tennis player in Serena Williams. And you put her in the men's tournament, and she's like mediocre. Two hundred, yeah, yeah. She's like mediocre at best. That's just what I'm trying to say. Have you? Yeah. Did you see 2K20 is going to have WNBA? Really? That's what I saw. It might be fake. I would. I mean, I don't play like Xbox ever. But I like, do. Loki, I do I play 2K, and I I saw that too. But my thing is like, I don't know why they're wasting the money because no one's, <laughs> no one's, no one's <laughs> like. From oh from a from, a from a business standpoint, nobody is buying 2K to have the girls' teams in it. They're just doing that That's because like when they you, want. When to. you play Madden, you play with the two shittiest teams to see who actually has skill. You just pick two WNBA teams. No. I'm not I'm not sexist here. I'm not trying to sound like that. <laughs> But, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, from a business standpoint, I didn't understand it because that's not going to get them any more copies sold putting that in. They're just doing that because they want to, which is the right thing to do. The do you, world is changing. Have you guys heard yeah. about, like, athletes? It'd be, like, a dude switching to a girl and then, like, dominating in their sport. Oh, I don't know. But yeah, that that's, is, not, that's not fair. Yeah, that's not those, necessarily those fair. fair. I mean, like, yeah. that's, that's just kind of messed up. Yeah. That's vulgar. That's very vulgar. That's and they, vulgar. And they like, win, like, every word. time. <laughs> they win, like, every oh, time. Oh, yeah. It's, like, like powerlifting. Yeah, yeah. Like, come on now. Like, <laughs> Breaking fucking records over yeah. here. And then all yeah. this, or something, like, you'll end up with, like, the same thing in, like, girls basketball, and you'll end up with, like, a 6'10 center. It's, like, no girl is ever <laughs> stopping that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Our uh, our girls basketball team at Kaufman was good a couple years back, right? Yeah. They chilled. Yeah. Did they? Did they? Like this year? Oh, this uh, year they got like oh, the they n- were really good. They got like they got they like really the good. number one or number two seed and lost in their first as I would call it a losable game because for people that don't know, like if you're a good team here in the Central District in Ohio, the first in sectionals, which are the first two games, you play teams you should beat in basketball by 60, 70 points. If you're I've number one or two that, seed, though, yeah. if you're number one or two oh, yeah. seed, like you know, what I'm saying you're playing the Westlands or your city schools that aren't good at athletics yeah. in those first two games, and they played like Whetstone and then Westland. Yeah, like if they lost those games, like just immediately fire the coach. <laughs> like <laughs> I like the coach, so he just settled down. Just well, he ended up he ended up resigning. Did he? Yeah. Patton? Yeah, he's no longer the girls' basketball coach. No way. Yeah, he resigned. He Is there a reason? He probably just didn't want to deal with all the shitty players. Yeah, I mean. Well, it, basically, he graduated the best player to ever go through the program. Well, yeah, because yeah. well, no, it's like JC. Yeah, similar yeah. to like our football staff now. Like they've had decent teams for years, and mm-hmm. now it's going to be a shitty team for a few years. I mean, I think they'll be decent next year just because all the weapons they have back on offense. They won't. They don't have a QB. Hey. Ethan's gone. They have yeah, a scrambler. They and might they be able like to, to pass, I so think, it ain't gonna really I work. I think Crabtree's a good coach. I think he'll find a way to make it work. We'll see. Were like you, base, you baseball yes. is gonna be absolute shit next year. Shit. Yeah. Like really? shit. I, I don't, thought, wait, I don't I care thought about the, the JV team was good. Program. Yeah, but you can't no. in baseball. You can't no, win the juniors. They're not that good. 
I thought they got what was like their record OCC. Last year? They actually had they won the OCC, but again, it's against the JV team. Like we did the same thing and then came up and went thirteen. Yeah, and and like three. That, that that just goes or to not show 13, like thirteen and thirteen. You don't you don't know like yeah, other schools JV teams like yeah, we could have a mediocre what, JV team and other schools are just like like way subpar. And what happens too is that at Kaufman Saunders doesn't like to move underclassmen up. Yeah, and he's one of the few coaches that like doesn't really do that. So basically, all the good sophomore players play JV, and everybody else's good sophomore players are playing on varsity. Some people will say that's how you're supposed to do it, though. Like the younger guys play yeah. JV. I don't know if I like that or not. But no, I'm just saying, no, I, I don't like that at all. Like if you're good <laughs> enough, like yeah. you're gonna play. Like he moved up, he moved up a sophomore. Cass has got a lot of playing time. Yeah, he position. got a lot of playing time. Yeah. Catcher. He got a lot of playing time, and he was a sophomore, and yeah. like. And he's good. He's yeah, gonna he's, go like D two, maybe even. Yeah, D1 he'll play in college. Place. Yeah, he'll play he's in definitely college playing for sure. in college. But like, I mean, he got his he got his reps <laughs> and stuff. Hey, throwback to Vic. Delaney's brother is a Canadian pro. Who? Delaney Murray's brother is it's Canadian. In the, it's the MLB. He's in like high A or. Oh, is double. it the I was MLB? Talking, I was talking isn't to Spencer. Toronto. Toronto's the MLB team. Okay. He's in like high A or double A right now. That's oh. what Spencer yeah. told me. Dang. Yeah. That's lit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> You can do it. You, you imagine doing what you love and getting paid for. Yeah, that'd be I guess sweet. I was like hearing like two. I guess I was hearing like two because these guys would get like big bonuses at the draft time. Yeah, yeah. is that like right. he came home for a little bit? This is I was hearing this from uh, Ethan Hetzel, and he's like, "Oh, who wants to go like car shopping with me?" And they all went for like a few guys went for like three or four hours with him, just looking at a bunch of cars at Toy Barn. That's dope. And then basically, my thought would be if like if. If that happened to me, I'd be like, maybe you should have. I should have worked a little hard at baseball, and I could be living a life like that too. Yeah, I mean, it's just like two percent of the population. Yeah. going to go to the league. So probably like, less than that. Yeah, probably like less like than point, that. Actually. Point one of people. That Isn't play it really easy yeah. for Canadians to go to the NFL? I mean, don't well, they, have that, they have that CFL, CFL league? That's yeah, they have that CFL league. No, no, no. So it's, it's easy it's for Americans abs- to go to CFL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a it's an absolute joke of a league. Isn't though. that where Manziel went? Yeah, and didn't, didn't he go to CFL? No yeah. There? yeah, he was on like the Hamilton Tiger Cats or yeah. something yeah. like that. Yeah, it was some, some they still just get like weird. Yeah, just I mean, not as much, obviously. Yeah, not it's not Hey, man, if you can go get paid 500000 a year to play football, that's not Well, bad, even I the guess. one thing I was thinking is a lot of these minor leaguers that like in baseball, people complain because they're only making like thirty or 40000 a year. But you're only working for like half the year. And what these guys will do is then go and like work as like instructors in the off season yeah. for like younger kids. And you're making a pretty good living doing what yeah. you love. Dude, mm-hmm. if you're like a golf or baseball coach, you can make a lot of money. Golf. Oh, yeah. Especially in a place like Dublin, dude, mm-hmm. with all these people. Golf. Yeah. That's yeah. not golf instructors. I actually want to start picking up some golf. Yeah. I, was, uh, I just golf. went yesterday. went to New Albany Links. Uh, What'd like, you shoot? Uh, I shot like a 92. It was okay, not bad. Not I'd shoot like. No, no, that's terrible. <laughs> that's actually yeah, terrible. I'd shoot like, like so over 100. Yeah, definitely. My first round. But uh, my friend, Samoa, shot 79, which that's pretty good. I knew I would be like, any viewers that are watching that actually like. 79 like, is good. Yeah, like good 79 golfers. Is New Albany is a hard course. Like 79 is 7 over for those that don't know that, and 92 is 20 over. Yeah, I shot a 20 over, which is just ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so ass. I mean, for an amateur Worst player. Worst game I've ever played. Like, No, you can ask McCarty, bro. I'm I'm like good like I'm a good golfer yeah. like I've, sh- I've I gave McCarty a run for his money at Rolling Meadows swear no swear. way yeah giving Mike a big literally Mike like a run we for finished his money? the front nine we finished the front nine like I think I was shot like I was at like 41 or something on the front nine not and bad and then you know I started getting tired but when we made yeah. the turn and like your <laughs> you know, body when you're walk like, you walking 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 are you walking no, for no, four hours yeah, yeah. we didn't walk we oh, didn't you didn't walk. walk yeah but it's still just it completely exhausts you yeah I mean it's like swinging a baseball bat. I mean, I don't know how many yeah. times, like a hundred times a day. Like, yeah. I mean, your body's gonna get fatigued. Yeah. But, anyways, if anyone wants to golf, we should go. I'm down. Like I love yeah, golf. Yeah, I'd be so I love fun. golf. We should do a tournament. Yeah. You get like been, uh, twelve guys, do yeah. random picks, and then money put money on it. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Yeah. I've been <laughs> trying to get like a like a hostage league going. What's that? So it's <laughs> that like game? a game where you basically like. Go around I like you basically I like. I thought it was called fugitive, not hostage. Oh, like like hostage, fugitive, criminal. Like they're all interchangeable. Wait, there's another word for that. Lost. Lost. Oh, yeah. 
So basically, what you do is it's like we yeah. play. Where you me and my friends people? play like a yeah. like a different variant where basically you'll toss somebody in your car and blindfold them and go and drop them off at a random location in Dublin. They have to try to find their way back, and you have to try to catch them. It's like, pretty fun. I play. Yeah, it's it's fun. Fuck, that could be hard. <laughs> it is. It, I'm dude. I'm I'm a beast at it though, like finding people. Really? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> they've been looking for people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, no. You don't got to take it there. You don't got to take it like that, Billy. Because the only time I've ever lost when I was a driver was, um, this is a funny story. So I was playing with like my underclassmen friends and we found a spot. It was over. I think the neighborhood's called like Dublin Estates. That's like really dark and you can't see like shit over there. Yeah. And we dropped them. We dropped a couple of guys off. It was it was a uh, Hunter Hicks and somebody else, hmm. and it was on some random court in that neighborhood. Is Hicks he, a quarterback? Oh, was that that night that you called me? No, no. This was like three you weeks were with before Hunter, that. Right? You were with Hunter. <clears throat> yeah, I was still. With, yeah, I was with Hunter. But we were trying to get people to play. This was like three weeks ago. Oh, okay. okay. So, Hunter Hicks's dad is like a like a football coach. Yeah. So he gets out of the car and immediately goes, "Oh, I know exactly where I are. That's Crabtree's house right there." <laughs> Oh, I know the I neighborhood. Know yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like you know how like how dark that neighborhood I is. I turned on it to the other day. And yeah, I was it's trying in to the go woods. Else. Yeah, it's, it's like, like in it's the like woods. There. So we just dropped them off on like like a random court in there. It had to be that one thing. That's the one time I oh, lost. Oh, Crabtree's court too. Yeah, that's the yeah. worst. Yeah. yeah. Who else lives there? Cawson? Probably. I think. That's I don't. I have no idea who lives there. But you just picked a random court in a dark neighborhood, and he knows where the fuck he is. So that's the one time I've ever lost at that game. Damn, <laughs> that's unfortunate. I played Fugitive one time. I got dropped off in the Mag dealership one time. <laughs> really? Yeah. At the Mag dealership. I was like, oh, I wonder who I am. <laughs> like, really? Come on. I, I dropped upset. the. My good drop off locations are the woods of Dublin Shire. It's like that little <laughs> circle that. that is. <laughs> it's like the little like circle area over by the North Pool, like over by Wyandotte. Woods of Dublin Shire. Yeah, Dude. the wood. Not the woods of Dublin. The woods of Dublin Shire. And, and, uh, it's like a little, like, it almost looks like a gated community from the outside and drop somebody off in the back of there. It's real dark. And just for, just for, like, to. I'm trying to remember, like, what. You said it's by the North Pool? Yeah. It's like, uh, you know yeah, where that church know. is that you guys lost that for senior tag? Yeah. Yeah. It's the, the neighborhood next to that. It looks like a gated community. Oh. Uh, you know what okay. I'm talking about? So oh, you go, wait. like. I think I kind of know what you're so talking you, about. Like, you. Like By Earlington Park, what? There a lake? Yeah. No, there's. I don't think there's a lake, but it's like just a circle that goes around. If you drop somebody way off in the back, that they have no idea where they are. And one time, I turned off my lights when I dropped my friends there, so they couldn't see anything. And I drove out of there, almost took out someone's <laughs> trash can, <laughs> driving without my lights on. Thank you, fiend. I know. Psychopath. That's great. That game, uh, B Hoss and Oh B Hoss and Billy Strong, they were in the car. We we made limits in Dublin. And you would think that Sawmill is one of the corners to that That's one. Far. We play, That's we play, far. we play a little farther in because we don't want to spend like two yeah. hours. Well, doing we were playing around. like That'd lost, fun, so it's more yeah. like you call people on the phone and tell them like directions and shit. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. That's another version of the game. Like yeah. I said, we just play a different variant. So Haas is going like south on Sawmill, yeah. turns on to Bethel. They go probably like three more miles down <laughs> Bethel. And they pull in. Do you know where the B-dubs is down oh, they there? Were dri- they're driving. Yeah. b okay. and Billy were driving. Me and Noah. You talking about you on Henderson or, or Bethel? Bethel. So there's a B-dubs way down there by like Texas Roadhouse. Maybe a little farther. Is it Roosters too? And like they oh, dropped you're us talking. Like, they dropped you off all the way down there? Yeah. Yeah, dude. That, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like that's and a hike like, and a half. Yeah. We're like, we get on the phone with Bill or with uh, Swick. Swick was Swick. picking us up. And I'm like, dude, I, I don't know where the fuck we are. And so, like, we start walking. Like, it's, like, apartments. There's B-dubs. I, n- I never knew that B-dubs was there. Yeah. And, like, I'm trying to think, where is there a B-dubs in Dublin that if I don't we, know The about? thing is, like, if, we, if I played the variant that you played of Lost, I would never lose because I know, like, every side street in Dublin. Yeah. Like, I could give you directions to wherever I'm at. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Or you, or you call has been planning for the day. <laughs> or, or, you, or you call me on the phone. And you tell me I'm on this street, so okay, I'll be there in five minutes. I know exactly where that is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a it's a fun game. Yeah. It's it's great to get like what do you need? I think four teams is like the best number. So sixteen people. Yeah, I'm trying to right. get like a like a tournament bracket. A lot know? of people. Yeah. 
Like, we, actually we getting, did like, a big game we of that? We did it, like, three times. We got a huge game like that. I think it was last summer or the summer before. Oh, really? Yeah, so if anyone's I watching this it. and, like, yeah, wants, to be, wants to be added to, like, my hostage tournament or or we can play Lost, basically, like, whatever variant we want to, just let me know. And females I'll, only. Yeah, females only. <laughs> Females only. I'll add you to the group chat. Do we, Vic? Do we have any more female stories? Do we have any more elementary school stories? <laughs> mm, not that I can remember on the elementary school did stories. You, did you hear the one about him choking out the kid? You choked out someone. Tell him. Tell him again. Okay, we're gonna 30 tell seconds. That's hard to imagine. Okay. So second. there's this kid in gym class in first grade that was pissing me off. I mean, everyone probably already knows this. That's actually watching this that this happened, and. Basically, I would never do this again, but a kid was pissing me off. And I was I had, like, anger issues at elementary school, so I just put my hands around his neck and started choking him. And it turned out later the kid was special needs. <laughs> I didn't know that in first oh grade. Oh, my God. That's so nuts. That's great. Gosh. Dang. Did you get in trouble? Yeah, definitely. You I definitely got, like, got a one-day in-school suspension. <laughs> wow. Wow. For choking Aretha. <laughs> I got so many detentions at my old school when really? I was in elementary school. For where, were you, where were you at? Just stupid stuff. Like, like me and my friend. I'm, I'm just going to say his name. No one probably knows him. But Nick Weil. He was a Darby. And uh, we'd go in the bathroom, and we'd try and see how many urinals we could piss in. <laughs> So we, so you know, we'd start our piss and work our way down the line. And Wait, are you moving? Like, are you moving or just? Yeah. Turn? there's like okay. eight or nine urinals in the bathroom. Just make them all the way down, flush all of them. Whole bathroom gets flooded and stuff. Miss Lang, Miss Lang was our principal, and she gave us like a three-day detention. What school is this at? St. Brendan. St. Brendan. Yeah. Everyone thought I went to St. Bridget. Not the same thing. Not the same thing. Yeah. St. Brendan, we referred to them as the team up north. Uh, is wait <laughs> really? it is it is is one team is one of the schools all boys or uh the, St. Charles I mean that's okay. a high St. school like the high, high school yeah. yeah St. Charles yeah. I think is the only one that's all boys I think going to an all boys high school would have been better going to an all boys high school eh fuck that probably not yeah probably not for academics yes yeah yeah and for academics like, yes for Billy for you to walk around starting to ass all day whoa. Like, not, not good <laughs> Oh my! Shots Man. have been fired. <laughs> Might have to take this down the parking lot after the park podcast. No, we're going. We're going like, to woods like down Vicks here. Like big umpires and them. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you. Oh yeah, let's hear what they said. So this was my first year, and like I was a rookie umpire, like 14 years old. I was like scared of all these adults, basically. Yeah. So like we didn't want to like eject anybody, but I had two coaches that were like about ready to swing during the game. Damn. Damn. And after the game, like we had to go get like. Like a couple other people's like, hey, I think we need to go uh, restrain these guys because they were like legitimately about ready to swing when they were like shaking hands drunk. at the end of the game. Might have been intoxicated. No, I did well, you. the one co- the one yeah, coach was. Oh yeah. The one coach was pissed that this other coach the whole game kept oh, like coach coach. Yeah, mind. these are, these are coaches. <laughs> I thought you said parents. No, I these are parents. coaches. My bad. Uh, do you see that video speaking to the parents of that one? Like it was like a 13 year old umpire. Yeah, and, and the then par- the, yeah. all the parents just like came out into the field and yeah. just started like fighting. Yeah, yeah, I, don't I saw that. that. It was on the news, bro. So like, really, did I ask? Yeah, my mom so showed there, me. There were there were two coaches, and then this was my first year, and I was doing 14 U my first year, and I was like 14 years old at the time, so I was like scared of everybody basically. Yeah, you were the same age as the players. <laughs> yeah, well I, well, I am now, but it's like everyone's younger when I do 18 U. Yeah, yeah, now Vic's big bad. Yeah, bad. Like don't player. like don't mess don't mess with me. You can go watch the game from the parking lot. <laughs> I've I've ejected three people, <laughs> three coaches. But how do you eject them? Show us the. I can't do it here because I I need to be able to move. No, you, you don't need to be able to move. That's what you do. And then you go find their kid and you, kick that no, little bastard gotta, out too. Like that, but it's like more energetic. I can't do it without standing up. Okay. And, and How do you say out? Pull the Kent Murphy. Huh? You know what I'm talking about? Pull Kent Murphy? You know Kent Murphy. Obviously. Yeah, I know Kent Murphy. He's <laughs> yeah. like one of the greatest comedy Greatest thing. baseball coach of all time. I yeah. don't know what you're talking what, about. If you're playing right field, you're anyone... the worst fucking player on the team. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, if you're under 13 years old and you're still playing right field, that's, that's because you're the worst fucking player on the team. <laughs> My favorite line from that was like, he, he like, uh, one thing I forgot to mention, kids, is uh, die for every ball, you know, <laughs> makes it look harder, makes a chick's panties a little bit wetter. <laughs> Gosh. Dive for every ball. Dude, I've watched Cam Murphy in so long. I watched yeah, them the other great. day because, like, one of the videos came up, and, like, I just watched them all again, and they're fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, they're fucking every hilarious. single one is so funny. It's <laughs> yeah. so funny. I know. 
So even if you're not into baseball, go watch it because it's still funny. Yeah. Yeah. So b- back to my story. So these, this one coach kept yelling like out, 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 or like safe, safe, safe after every call, even if that's like not what we made. And this coach, other coaches getting pissed off at that, that like we weren't controlling that. So he started like yelling at the other coach and stuff like that. And then, and then something like stopped showing us up or something like that. Cause this team was getting blown out too. And or stop showing – I forget what the one coach said, like stop showing something or something. And the coach is like, well, I'm showing you on the field because the team was up like 15 <laughs> runs. Like they were – this is a real – you know, this is a DYA yeah, yeah, record. Like, man? <laughs> uh, not at the time, but there was no run limit in an inning back then. So, like, it was virtually impossible to get to a run rule because you had to play four innings for that by the time the time limit came. It would, And so after the game, we had to go get – our assistant boss and somebody else was working in the concession stand to like go restrain the coaches because when they were shaking hands they were like in each other's face like screaming as loud as they could no like way. they were about ready to swing and then this is probably the funniest thing i've had a coach say to me i was doing 18u and there was this really cocky like columbus team because dublin plays out of town teams because no one wants to play rec league in high school in dublin yeah so we should have got a team together Dope. Yeah, I can just throw eject the whole team. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah. You're all gone. That's it. You're done. <laughs> and uh, so the Columbus team was taunting the Dublin team the entire game because they were up by a bunch of runs. And that, some of the stuff they were saying I thought was pretty funny too. Like Dublin kid comes up as kind of like a chubby or black kid. <laughs> and the Whoa. catcher. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is this is going to be a little bit racial here. <laughs> wait, from what Mick, the guy... don't, wait, don't we have a word for that? <laughs> no, no, we're not. This so, a nice boy. If, that's what they're called. So yeah. if if you're going to get offended by race here, like because these are racial comments, <laughs> you better watch like, your sk- mouth. Yeah, you're on a live podcast just right do it. now. Skip, just skip do the it. thing thirty seconds if you can. So the chubby black kid comes up to the plate and the catcher screams as loud as he can from Columbus. Holy shit! It's David Ortiz. <laughs> <laughs> and like they were doing stuff like that the entire game. So this this Dublin so this mom from the Dublin team walks up to the plate umpire and screams at him for like the next five minutes after the game. I was walking out by myself. This dad comes up to me and he's like, he's like, man, that was the biggest white trash game I've ever seen because like the whole team was white. Yeah. He's like, where were they from? I'm like, hmm. <laughs> Dublin, <laughs> Columbus. <laughs> That's tough. David Ortiz yeah. isn't even black, though, is he? Yeah, he, yeah, he is. Like He's from the Dominican. <laughs> He's from the Dominican. He's one of the greatest baseball players. Like I knew, of like recent. Like I knew he was like colored. No, like, he's black. No, he's black. He's, he's from the African American. American. He's yeah. African American. He's yeah, from the Dominican. He's like right. black from the waist down. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Big That's like that one. Not what I needed to hear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Billy, how's the females been coming along <laughs> with you? How, of course, Vic. Vic's Vic asked the questions. Huh? I mean, you know. <laughs> He's chilling. You chilling right now? I'm not. I mean, I'm not chilling. I'm. <laughs> I'm a fiend. You know, I'm a dog. Yeah. So I'm gonna give her what she like. You know, but facts. Facts. It's good. CJ, how 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 have you and Morgan been? We're good. We're she good. was supposed to come on the podcast. She was. She wants to. We. I'm down. All right. Yeah. We we'll can get do her on it. here. And we were supposed to have someone else on the podcast, but that I name. think. Yeah. Well, I'll talk about just Ooh. the one. So I posted on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. On Instagram. Did you see what I posted? What was it? No. It was a picture of like me, Billy, Caleb, Beto, and Josh Curtin. And Caption oh, was. Yeah, yeah. You told me about that. You told me about that. <laughs> nice guys finish last. Oh, yeah. Bad boys bust on her face. <laughs> <laughs> and her dad was Fact. not happy when he saw that because he follows me on Instagram. And, um,. I was at a grad party and he was there and like he apparently like went around and like told everybody like oh that's that Siege kid he you know what he posted on Instagram wow. and, uh, he was telling everybody something like that wow it's messed up I know it was messed up yeah that's why you gotta watch what you post I mean I learned my um, lesson two weeks ago from the the texting thing <laughs> we're gonna bring that story up he said we don't need to bring that back <laughs> yeah we don't we don't need to bring that back up. <laughs> so so you you're you're doing pretty good with the females then? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think this is? Yeah, look at him. Look at this beast. I know. <laughs> Growing out the beard. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, I mean it's yeah. not the you question shaved. is the you is, shaved. Yeah, I noticed I, that. Yeah, the question is that the females like it. The dude, the females love the beard. I wish I could. I've been trying for eighteen years. 
Dang. Yeah. Well, like, I I can't right here like that much. So it's kind like of low tough. key. You're gonna be the guy when he's like 30, still asking when am I gonna actually buy a razor? Maybe. <laughs> 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 hey, you know Ogilvy? What about, yeah, yeah he's he can a grow baby. a good beard. He's a baby though. Like, he's I, a he baby. does have like a small yeah. face, like yeah. baby face, yeah. but like he can grow a nice beard. Yeah, yeah I can. And grow I bosh. Can, oh my, body? I can grow. I don't know. Body, Mr. Yeah. Yeah. Body. I don't know. Yeah, Coach Body. Mm-hmm. He has a nice beard. I know. I can. I can grow a nice beard out. Actually, you should. You remember yeah. Freshman football year when Coach Warren had his beard. Yeah. And then he shaved it, and then he looks like Fixed Felix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, he's a great guy, Dan. Yeah. Yeah. Did cool. you know, um, Coach? So Coach Lewis was QB, and he's like yeah. he's like a skinny guy, but I mean, I guess he's like a little like. I mean, he's like he's yeah. fit. Yeah, like he like. So he's apparently like jacked up. He's QB, and our other coach Maynard apparently like broke his back. Yeah, and yeah. they didn't know until they met. Yep, it was a head-on collision. They were playing each other, and like it was like the playoffs, and I think like Lewis had like QB sneak up the middle, and they both just put their head down, and then like. Obviously, Maynard, like, if anyone knows the old Maynard, dude's a body. Yeah. Like, he'll just, like, <laughs> put you in the ground. Like, so, clearly didn't end well for Coach Lewis. But They're both very nice, though. Oh, they were chill. Yeah, they're they were sweet. chill. I think Maynard freshman got football. on my nerves a little bit, but really? it's okay. <laughs> Dude, he snaps my sister. Yeah, this is actually, yeah. like, <laughs> man. <laughs> Yeah, I swear. Like Dalton he, Maynard, dude's, we coming for you. <laughs> dude's, dude's, like, 28. He's a freaking freak, He's dude. a savage. I, I remember mean, my sister's, like, they, yeah, Not even twenty one yet. Dog, dogs gotta eat. <laughs> Remember when we were at Iacono's the one night? What after what? after DYA was, this would have been <laughs> three years ago, and your sister was working there. There's a lot of times I've been to Iacono's. <laughs> I was in there so one three I'm years about, ago. I'm talking about the time with, with me, Valella, and you. Yeah, and yeah. You were I just did. sitting there messing with your sister the entire time. Yeah, okay, yep, uh, yep, yep. Oh, yep. messing with that. his sister. Yeah, the entire yeah time. we were like, you know what I mean. Like get my drink faster and stuff like that. Oh, she yeah. works yeah, there. She works oh. there. <laughs> oh, I didn't. I didn't. You get that. Used to. Used to work there. She uh, put, she's in Athens now. She got herself an apartment. Mm. Living good. Doing mm. big things. That's sweet. Just kidding. She so you, you're not doing big uh, things. Now, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> CJ, where are you on? C State. C State. Mm. No way. Hey, same. Let's go, baby. Hey. Go Cougs. Yeah, go Cougars, go baby. Cougars. <laughs> yep. And right. based on Alabama. Southern yeah. Alabama. Yep. When are you coming back to visit? I don't know. Ever? I probably will. Okay. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Next yeah. summer. Yeah, I'll be back. You'll be back for the podcast. Yeah. So I might have to be calling in from I Alabama. I got a question over. for you, Vic. Are you ready for this college life? Like, I was going to ask you in the car, but, like. I'm, I'm fucking ready. Are you really? <laughs> are you really? Ready, I'm fucking ready. Like, Listen, okay. Vic's okay. all about bitches, money, and fun. All yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would that would be actually a great way to sum up my high school life. <laughs> I love okay, it. to an extent, you're right. Actually, you're right because like you did have plenty of females on your mind twenty four seven. Peanut That's butter, what... <laughs> ready in case anyone was acting up, but you know, acting out of order. <laughs> yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Okay. That was bad. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's we're gonna call it time. No, we can't. We can't end on that note with the peanut butter. <laughs> we can't. We gotta talk about something else. Vic's having a blast. He's having a ball right now. I can't. I can't let my my last time for like another year with this podcast like go out with me talking about trying to kill somebody with peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we really gotta go. I got somewhere to be. Yeah, Fine. yeah. Billy's got a dentist so, appointment. Peanut butter on deck. Thanks, Vic, for coming on. Thanks, Vic, for coming on. Thanks, CJ. Yep. We'll see you next time. Yep. See you guys. Bye.